We got so many stories to tell you. I was on my way to combat on the aircraft carrier Kitty Hawk. We stopped in Hawaii for our last hoorah. And uh, so we went out and uh, found some pubs and whatnot. Well, I had rented a little um, a motor scooter, you know, like a little Vespa. Yeah. All right. And because uh, that's going to work out well. Yeah, that's going to work out well. <laughs> so I'm driving around um, Honolulu and I look back. And when I look uh, forward, I'm uh, bore sighted on an 18 wheeler. And so I, uh, so, so I laid that, <clears throat> that motor scooter on its uh, side and slid underneath the axle of this truck and pinned my uh, right ankle between the, the frame of the motor scooter and the truck. Well, and so I, you know, I, I, I came out and dusted myself off. I'm thinking, okay, then I tried to walk. You know, I'm not walking very well. And so I, I go up to the closest uh, house and knock on the door and say, uh, you know, I, I guess I need a ride to the hospital. I went over to Tripler. Hospital, big hospital in Hawaii. And, um, and the doc uh, there <clears throat> looks at me and he uh, takes an x-ray of my leg. And, and you know, it, it was really funny when you, when you see an x-ray of a broken part of your body, you know, you, you, you're in disbelief. You know, you, you're like, wait, how can this happen? You know, you're in denial. And the guy said, uh, okay, report to uh, uh, wing uh, Bravo uh, floor three. I said, what's on Bravo three? He said, it's all the other idiots that broke their leg <laughs> riding motor scooters in Hawaii. And sure enough, all these military guys in this military hospital had broken their leg on motor scooters. And so uh, I said, I can't do that. I'm, I'm a fighter pilot, you know. I just to help start the Top Gun School. I gotta, I gotta get out of here. I gotta go win the war, you know. <laughs> and and it, I'll never forget this doctor. <laughs> His name was Jensen. Doctor Jensen said, "Son, take my advice. Um, you, you can get into war in six months or so after your leg heals." And so. Well, I said, I can't do that. I got to go back to the ship. He said, he said, you can't ride around on a ship with a broken leg. I said, no, an aircraft carrier. We've got hospitals and x-ray machines and all this good stuff. We got doctors and surgeons and all this stuff. Oh, uh, no, I can't let you do that. You know, re 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 report to all the other characters that broke their legs. No, no, I can't do that. And so I find I, I'm arguing with this doctor who outranked me by about three ranks. And uh, uh, I said, tell you what, let me call the ship. I'll, I'll, I'll let you talk to uh, our flight surgeon, and he can assure you that I'll be okay by going back to the ship because i got to go to the war. <laughs> well, so, I, so I called the ship. Well, of course, the flight surgeon out getting drunk too. You know? <laughs> <laughs> he, 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 so he wasn't there. And, in fact, the only one in sick bay on that ship was a was a a, a, a corpsman, uh, like a third class corpsman. Okay, and he doesn't know what he's doing. And but I, I'd say, okay, I'm whispering to the guy. So okay, now tell tell this doctor that that you're in charge of the hospital and that it's okay for me to come back. So sure enough, you know he does what I say. <laughs> he tells the doctor. So so I get a cab. And I got this cast on now from my from my waist all the way up down to my toe. Got my big toes. I mean, how, I, I I broke my ankle. You know, not not the rest of my leg, but I got this twenty pound cast on. And so I got these crutches, and I crutch up the gangway, you know, and salute, uh, request permission to come aboard. And the the the, the OD says uh, permission granted, and, and and I hobble my way into. Uh, the sick bay. Okay, here's the same third class corpsman sitting there, uh, and he doesn't know what he's doing, and he doesn't sign me in or anything. He says, uh, you know, go to the officer's quiet room. That we got one of those in sick bay, and so I crutch my way back to this quiet room, and I I am exhausted. I'm totally, and this leg is starting to swell inside the cast, and I'm in pain, and so I just flop down in this in this rack, okay, in the quiet room. Well, the next thing I hear is the engines of the ship starting up. You know, we're about to leave. Now, meanwhile, my squadron buddies, you know, leave, wanting to leave no man behind, says, where's Charlie? Mm. They went back on the beach searching for me for the last place they saw me was disappearing towards Diamond Head on a Vespa. <laughs> <laughs> and so they look all over for me and come back and report that I'm AWOL. Oh. Okay. I miss ship's movement. All right. Okay. So I, I so I wake up and I, and I, and I know what's happening. I you know I got to tell somebody I'm here. Nobody knows I'm here. I mean you know the third class corpsman he didn't sign me in. He didn't know who I was. Mm. Okay. <laughs> so 
So, uh, you know, you have these squeeze bottles, you know, in, in, in a hospital room, and it's supposed to, uh, so I'm squeezing on this bottle trying to attract a nurse or something, you know, at the end there. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And I finally looked up, and the hose from the bottle was cut. I was just squeezing air. <laughs> <laughs> so I get my crutch out, which is the only thing I can move. I mean, I'm paralyzed, and I'm banging on the, the hatch, you know, and I tr- finally attract uh, attention to this sailor. And they say, you better go up to the ready room in Squadron 114, and you better tell them up there that I'm down here. Well, it wasn't probably two minutes later, uh, the commanding officer standing in the doorway, all right? And he is not happy. <laughs> he said, I've got 17 pilots. He said, and now i got 16. He said, <clears throat> he said, first of all, he said, what are they telling you? When are you going to be ready to fly again? I said, six weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I, you know, weeks, months, I kind of got that confused. And he said, you're going home. Oof. I'm going to get a replacement pilot to you. Oh, no, please, please, please let me stay. I got to stay with the squadron. You know, I got to be with the troops, you know, please. And so now you're going home. Oh, please, please. I said, okay, okay uh, Skipper, what if I, uh, you need you need a, a pilot from the squadron to run the, the maintenance on the, uh, 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 QB Point in the Philippines, you know, uh, a pilot stand behind it for battle damage and stuff. You know, so I'll take care and I'll run those troops and for you. I can do that on a crutch. And so he said, okay. So he let me um, he let me off on uh, at uh, on the Philippines, and while well, the rest of the squadron, you know, went to the first line period, uh, they went out there, and and I'm crutching my way around the Philippines uh, it, it, with a you know I had a, a, I had probably. Uh, six or eight chiefs and a uh, hundred uh, mechanics, you know, working on these airplanes. Well, <clears throat> so they would send these airplanes back to me, but I didn't have any way to test them. Uh, but the, the army at Trip or Hospital had not taken my wings. So they, they, they'd not given me a, a, a down shit, so I so it told me I couldn't fly. Mm. Why? Well, you know, I, so I talked the doctor there at uh, Subic Bay to put on a walking cast. Okay, so I got a little cast. And so uh, I can, you know, I'm qualified to test these airplanes. I can do this. <laughs> and so the problem was, first of all, I couldn't get into the airplane because my cast was too big to go into to the tow hole. And so I'd have a, my, my crew um, forklift me up and into the airplane. <laughs> my second problem was I couldn't use my right foot to, to, to push the right rudder. And, and this, is a, this is kind of a nose wheel steering airplane, the F-4, where you got to be able to push the rudder to steer. So I would, I, I'd go out and test these airplanes, and I'd come back and land <clears throat> at, uh, at QB Point in the Philippines. And instead of making, the, they'd say, okay, you're, you're cleared right-hand turn. Couldn't make a right-hand turn. I made three left-hand turns to get off the runway. <laughs> so the, the, the squadron finally came back, and, and I got back with them, got my little cast off, and I started flying missions. But you, until the day I was shot down, I was still limping on that ankle. And I was really afraid with a diet in the prison camp that that was never going to heal. But, uh, you know, as, as, as luck and, and fate would have it, it, it healed up fine. And so, you know, it, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, that, that's my story of, of, <laughs> of getting, breaking my leg on the way to combat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks for bringing that up, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> oh.